FDA has recommended that children be seen at the age of one. Uh, primarily the purpose of this is that we can catch problems before they become a, a true concern. Um, obviously preventive medicine, especially for children, is something that's huge and will affect the rest of their life. Uh, many questions come about with children's teeth. Uh, simple things from which teeth appear first. Uh, the teeth follow a pattern, so oftentimes if you discuss that with me, uh, I can let you know the pattern and find out where your child uh, eruptions and when their permanent teeth will come in. It uh, creates a lot of concerns for people, for moms especially, and I just have to tell you, relax, the teeth are there, they'll come through, um, and if you're worried about permanent teeth, just relax there too. Uh, pacifiers, uh, pacifiers and thumb sucking is a big concern for malalignment of teeth, teeth being shifted, rotated, and having uh, the need for orthodontics or braces. So if uh, your child uses a pacifier, you want to limit that as much as possible and attempt not to even start. Oftentimes, my uh, experience has shown that the parents seem to need it more than the child. Once the parents get over the fact that the child will be okay without it, then usually it's fine. Uh, the sealants. Sealants is a, is a big uh, topic. I think it's uh, an excellent way to protect a tooth from getting cavities. Sealants are a coating of paint that is on the top surface of a tooth that prevents food from getting lodged into the cracks of the top surface of the teeth. Keep in mind that uh, sealants don't, don't entirely prevent cavities, they do prevent from the top surface. Flossing for children prevents cavities between the teeth. Uh, primarily with flossing, you don't worry about how often, uh, you just make it a part of their routine uh, along with brushing. How often should my child brush her teeth? At least twice a day, preferably right before bed and after breakfast. Uh, baby bottle decay is, a, is something that the general public knows about, but it's also something that causes severe decay in children. So limiting the number of snacks and number of drinks or having a bottle at bedtime are big factors in preventing tooth decay in your child.